Nicole, the math lady. Today we're talking about the area of a trapezoid. Yep, not too bad. I think you're gonna get this really quick. Let's take a look at this example. Here we have a trapezoid. And if you remember, a trapezoid is a polygon, right? Four-sided figure, but it only has one set of parallel sides. So here's a parallel side, one set there and there. Okay, now how do we find the area? Well, I want you to notice that a, a trapezoid can be divided into two triangles. Oh, that wasn't a very good straight line. Pretend it's straight. <laughs> now, what does that mean? It means we have a triangle here and we have a triangle here. And what do we need of triangles to find their area? Well, the formula is one half base times height. Okay, well, let's take a look. If we did this one first, we have a base. It's seven inches. We also have a height. The height of this is going to be four inches. Well, how do I know that? Nicole, it's all the way over there. Watch, I can just slide that height over and boom, it turns it into, you have to look at it from the side, but it turns it into a height for this triangle. So the height is still gonna be four inches. So let's fill it in. One half times the base, seven, times the height, four. And now let's clean it up a little. Two goes in here, two is left over, and we have 14 inches squared. Now that's just for the first triangle. We've got to do the second triangle, but the formula still applies. One half base times height. Well, what do we have? We've got our one half. Our base this time is going to be this triangle up here. So our base is going to be five. And what's our height? Guess what? It's still going to be the same height, but I'm just going to shift it over here so you can see it better. So let me erase this one. I'm going to shift this one. Ding, 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 ding. So if you look at it from the side, you can see that the height is still four inches. So in both cases, the height's going to be four, and we're just using the different, um, excuse me, the height's going to be four, and the base is going to be what that side is for the triangle. Here we go. Let's cancel here, and we have 10 inches squared. Add the two of them together, 14 plus 10 gives me 24 inches squared as my area. Take a look at this trapezoid. What are we going to do? The same thing. We're going to divide this into two triangles. And it doesn't matter, by the way, which diagonal you choose. You can do it this way or you can do it this way. It'll still give you two triangles with two different bases. Let's do it. So the first one's going to be one half base times height. So let's do this side over here. One half, our base is going to be six. And our height, here we have four centimeters. And I'm going to, since we're talking about this triangle, I'm just going to slide this over so you can see it better. Ah, easier to see when I do it like that. So it's going to be four centimeters for the height. And let's just do some canceling here. Two, three, our answer is going to be 12 centimeters squared for that first triangle. Let's do the second triangle. We have one half, our base is going to be a three, and our height is still going to be a four, but I'm just going to shift it over here so it's easy for you to see that it's the height of this triangle. So it's times four. And let's do some canceling. We are left with six centimeters squared. So if we add them together, we get 12 plus six, and our answer is 18 centimeters squared for our area of the trapezoid. That simple, if you can divide them into two triangles, find the area of one, find the area of the other. You've got different bases, but you have the same height each time. It's not bad, huh? Pretty simple. Okay, try the practice problem so you make sure you've got it. So cold math lady, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.